Sweetie by Andrea Zuhl. Hi everyone, MC Baker here talking about art connections to this year's Red Clover books. Sweetie's grandmother calls her a square peg, even though she doesn't really know what that means. Sweetie knows she doesn't fit in with the other mole rats. None of her peers seem to appreciate her interpretive dance book reports or warrior princess dolls. With a little help, can Sweetie embrace her inner oddball and stand tall as the most unique mushroom in the flower bed? This is a great book. I love Sweetie. There is so much to love about this character and her uniqueness. So I had a lot of fun with this project and I think I'm going to do this, this art project first off because honestly, I couldn't stop making uh, these, these sculptures with recycled materials. Um, honestly, just um, all you'll need is cardboard. I use uh, glue guns because I am impatient, but um, tacky glue works great. So have your students cut out a shape, um, put some, uh, some decoration on it with thinner sh uh, strips of cardboard. You can pull them apart so you only get the, the, the corrugated part. You can add little um, additions onto it. Create your own unique um, creations uh, based upon whatever their imagination may be. I might be doing this with all of my students because it was just so much fun. And when other, uh, my, even my older students see these, uh, they want to design their own. So create your inner oddball, enjoy the book, and, um, and, and make some, some wonderful recycled art inspired by Sweetie. Thanks for listening and integrating art into picture books. Remember, there's a lot more resources in our Red Clover handbook, which can be found under the Vermont Department of Libraries website. Be well and make more art.